guys, I'm Jam from JamOnline.ph and today we're gonna unbox and take a closer look on the Asus Zenfone Selfie. So this is the newest smartphone uh, that will be arriving here in the Philippines uh, next week and there's no price yet but the Asus Zenfone Selfie is a really interesting smartphone. Why? Because, um, well, first, it, uh, it's available in three colors, teal, uh, pink, and white. Very uh, feminine colors, very not so, um, well, feminine, white is not so feminine, but the teal and pink are, well, suited for most feminine, uh, for most women. But, of course, there are some men who would prefer a smartphone, a pink smartphone, a teal smartphone. The teal smartphone uh, looks really good, but the one that I got is the white one. And uh, so, what's uh, so special about the Zenfone Selfie? Well, it's different from the Zenfone 2 because uh, it might have the same design, same 5.5-inch uh, Full HD display, but this one packs a 13-megapixel front camera with dual LED flash. Uh, that's the same uh, one on the uh, rear camera, but this one packs uh, laser autofocus. That's why there's a black um, oval shape uh, near the camera, as you can see in that one. I'll show that to you later on. Uh, so this one packs a Snapdragon 615 processor. That's a 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon 615 processor. There's a 3 gigs of RAM on this one. There, yes, there's a 3 gigs of RAM. So it's not 4 gig, but it does the job well. Um, you know, 3 gigs are pretty much decent for most high-end smartphones. I mean, the Galaxy S6 has 3 gigs of RAM. Um, the LG G4 has 3 gigs of RAM. Um, uh, well, the Zenfone 2 has a 4 gigs of RAM, but uh, most flagship smartphones pack a 3 gigs of RAM and up. Uh, so, yeah, this one is really interesting because of the Snapdragon 615 processor, which is present on the Xiaomi Mi 4i. And uh, hopefully, this one would do better, and uh, we'll check that out on our review. But for now, we'll unbox this one and uh, we'll be taking a closer look on this Asus Zenfone selfie. So, um, so yeah, so let's unbox and uh, let's check out So what's so interesting about the Asus Zenfone Selfie. If you have seen the Asus Zenfone 2, well, probably you're familiar with the design of the box. So um, well, compared to the Zenfone 2, this one is much easier to unbox. Alright, so um, here's the Asus Zenfone Selfie. I've turned it on. I've uh, finished the initial setup. So we're gonna discuss this one later on. Uh, but first, uh, let's check out if we have a uh, fast charger. Now it's a 5 volts, 2 amperes uh, charger. It's not a fast charger. But uh, I'm not sure if this one supports fast charging, but uh, we'll post that on our review. So this one is kind of different charger compared to the Zenfone 2. And then, um, of course, we have the USB cable. So only those two. But this might uh, be the different, um, there might be added accessories or once the Asus Zenfone Selfie was launched. But yes, so um, let's talk about the Asus Zenfone Selfie. So uh, actually, it looks like the Zenfone 2. So I'm, I'm going to get my Zenfone 2 and I'm going to compare, I'm going to show you. This one is the Asus Zenfone 2. So um, this one is much bigger, uh, the Asus Zenfone Selfie, because of the camera. So we have a larger bezels at the top to make way for the camera. But um, overall, it looks pretty same. Um, it look, looks really same. But um, look at this one, the concentric circle. Um, this one is much shinier and um, although uh, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, really uh, you know, change the experience of that one. So at the back, um, instead of the brush metal look, the Asus Zenfone Selfie prefers a, uh, you know, a white, chic uh, plastic design. Uh, not so premium but not so cheap too. It actually feels good and um, I think this one is much, uh, no, it's thicker than the, it's almost the same with the Asus Zenfone 2. So yeah, um, it's re it really feels comfortable to the hand because of the uh, arc uh, design, just like the Asus Zenfone 2. So at the back, we got the similar um, rear volume buttons, but this one on the Asus Zenfone Selfie, we got a laser autofocus camera. Um, the LED flash was moved to the uh, side compared to the Asus Zenfone 2 and not really much to say about this one so um, let's check out what's inside if we can open the back all right so give me a second I don't have a nail to open this one all right so wow that's pretty hard that's what she said all right so uh, give me a second oh wow wow it's really hard because you know every new smartphones are really are really hard to you know 
keys to remove the back cover oh wow so because I'm pressing on that one on the sides that's why I'm having a hard time so alright so it's um, more solid than the Asus Zenfone 2 I'm pretty sure that the back cover uh, is more um, solid than the Asus Zenfone 2 um, it's actually uh, harder and feels tougher alright so at the back we got the Asus Zenfone 2 so um, there's a uh, dual SIM card slot of course there's, there's LTE you got a micro SD card slot here too the SIM 1 SIM 2 micro SD card slot to give way if uh, you feel that the uh, the 32 gig uh, of storage is not enough um, wow so the Asus Zenfone selfie has an removable battery compared to the Asus Zenfone 2 so this one got a uh, let's see uh, we got a 2900 milliamps of battery which is not that bad it's actually pretty good All right so um, let's turn it on again I've uh, already set this uh, smartphone I'm, I'm, I finished the initial setup so um, as you could see we got a 5.5 inch full HD display just like the Asus Zenfone 2 it actually looks pretty decent um, although I've only seen it for a while uh, while before I unbox it of course I've set it up and I've seen it and um, it's actually pretty similar to the Asus Zenfone 2 the experience and the UI is again just like the Asus Zenpad and the Asus Zenfone 2 it's very very similar and it's very familiar that's why I didn't have uh, you know I, I didn't find it too hard to uh, use the Asus Zenfone itself as you could see the UI is very similar it's 155 and uh, it's fast the Snapdragon 615 is very swift on this one compared to other smartphones that I tried with the Snapdragon 615 processor so um so what are the added features well of course we got a new camera and uh, when it comes to applications it's pretty much the same with the other Zen devices like the Zenpad and the Zenfone 2 so we have personalization of course the Asus cover it supports Asus cover if you want to buy an Asus cover um, you could change the themes uh, basically it's almost similar so actually I'm gonna show you how to change the themes and then of course we got different uh, setup all right, so um, as you could see, we got scroll effects, icon packs, apps and widgets, edit pages, wallpapers, everything. So um, let's check out the camera because the main feature of this uh, smartphone is the camera. So let's check out first the rear camera. So let's take an object. So uh, uh, let's see if we could, uh, I guess, um, this, I guess this, this would do. So we have here the Asus Zenfone 2. And since we have a laser autofocus camera, Let's see if we could uh, shoot faster compared to the Asus Zenfone 2. Well, actually, yes. Um, well, I'm gonna turn off the uh, the. Oh wait, the camera resolution anti shake enhancement auto uh, camera resolution is. I I want to six by nine. I prefer six by nine because my blog supports. Uh, it looks better with uh, 6x9 photos the image quality I want it fine uh, touch shutter no I don't want that fast uh, burst shot smart autofocus everything blah 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 it can shoot full HD and uh, there's video stabilization but it's only available at 720p alright uh, so video performance I want it uh, I want quality and then uh, there we go it's very smooth as you could see scrolling on the Asus Zenfone selfie is very very smooth and it's very fluid so uh, let's turn off the uh, flash and uh, yes um, it actually is uh, it no all focus focus are uh, much faster compared to other smartphones thanks to the laser autofocus so I'm gonna use another Asus product and then uh, this one the Republic of Gamers uh, mouse and then uh, let's see so I'm gonna turn the display here and then there we go so all right so uh, I'm gonna focus on this one then I'm gonna focus on that one oh. it took some time but uh, it's mu it is much faster it's like um, almost on par with most flagship smartphones today so um, that's the later autofocus camera uh, so again let's take a shoot all right so let's check out 
Alright, so here's the photo and uh, as expected, it's almost similar to the Zen Phone 2. It is sharp, although it's a little bit grainy, but it's still good. So uh, we'll check that out. Uh, we have to upgrade its software so uh, we can have a better, probably a better camera you know, quality. Alright, so, um, so now let's check out the uh, front camera. So one of the main features of this one is the low camera. Again, this one has uh, this... Uh, some modes including the low light shot which is I call it the uh, owl mode or whatever that you want but um, there's a front facing camera that has an LED flash and I don't know I guess is that an uh, no it's the speaker uh, speaker grill at the top I'm gonna oh wow so as you could see we have an LED flash and then um, to take a uh, selfie uh, with a timer all you need to all you need to do is press this one or you could set a timer by uh, Swiping this button up and then two, one, there we go. So we have an LED flash. That that is pretty bright. That is freaking bright. So I'm gonna check that out. So here's my selfie. As you could see, it's pretty great. Um there's beautification, there's a lot of things that you could do. It's like a rear camera that displays on the front camera thanks to the 13 megapixel uh, uh, camera. So we got uh, different modes even on the front camera. That's pretty good. Uh, that's why this smartphone is called Selfie because you could do a lot uh, with its uh, front camera but I don't want a beautification so I'm gonna test another one. So that's me with the auto mode and there we go so that's the auto mode and yes um, there's a two it's a maple uh, LED flash the other one is white so just like the iPhone 6 and 6 uh, the iPhone 5 5s and the iPhone 6 the uh, flash uh, looks pretty good look at that one so yes I'm dark but um, as you could see the color tones are natural and I don't uh, look like a ghost and uh, with a powder a lot of powder no uh, I look like um, it's, it looks really natural thanks to the dual LED flash that's why I really like that they placed a maple LED flash on the front so yeah I guess that's it for now for the unboxing and hands-on of the Asus Zenfone selfie so if you want to know more about it be sure to check out my website and wait for my review so yeah so once again I'm Jam of jamonline.ph and if you like this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet well mag subscribe so once again, I am Jam of JamOnline.ph and thanks for watching the unboxing and initial review of the ASUS Zenfone Selfie.